Hi, welcome to Apple Adventures. Today we will look at a sailing game called the American Challenge. I'm always curious about this game uh, and I never figure out how, to, uh, how the game work. So I got a copy of it from eBay and turns out it came with a cassette tape. If uh, For those of you who still know what a cassette tape is, um, which include uh, the sailing tutorial on one side and uh, some kind of music on the other side. Um, so I converted the cassette into an mp3 and in this video I will be playing um, the tutorial side and, uh, and play along with it. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? Hi there, I'm Ed, and it looks like a fine afternoon to head out into the harbor for a cruise. When you're ready, just press the escape key to start the game. Now, if you have an Apple computer, hit the number 1 or the number 2, depending on whether you've got a color or black and white television set. Now, press the number 1 to choose the one computer version of the game. Now you're going to type in the name you'd like to call your boat. If you're having a hard time coming up with something creative, just name it after yourself, then press return. Now, press the number 1 to choose the sailboat rather than the motorboat. If you ever want to return to a previous screen if you feel like changing your mind, you can just back up by pressing the escape key. Now you'll see a list of race courses that you'll be able to select later. But for now, just press return so we can do some practice sailing. Once the game gets ready, you'll see your boat rocking gently side to side. We're not moving yet, because the sail's too far out to catch any wind. First thing we've got to do is get you moving. But let's have a look at a couple of things before we do that. See your compass on the bottom left of your screen? It's pointing west. That'll show you which way you're headed. And have a look at that small boat down there on the control panel. That shows you the angle of your sail and the direction of the wind. In case you're curious, it's showing you that the wind's blowing over the right side of your boat. So, of course, the sail is going out to the left. Now, have a look for those two little bobbers floating out on front of you. They look like two dots in the water. They're there to help you tell how fast you're going. Now, press the space bar to see the bird's eye view. You're that little black dot there just south of the starting line. Now we're gonna try to get your boat moving. Hit the space bar again and we're back in the harbor. Ready? Now just hit the F key slowly 12 times to pull your sail in. Notice the speed bar going up? And see how your boat's tipping over to the left? That's a good sign. Don't worry, you won't capsize. The compass still shows you that you're going west. Press the space bar again. Notice how that dot has turned into a line, showing you where you've just traveled. Now that we've got up a bit of speed, we're going to turn the boat around and sail back towards the starting line. Not right now, but in a minute, you'll press the L key and hold it down until your boat is headed towards the starting buoys. Once you're aimed right at those pyramid-shaped buoys, you'll press the K key to straighten out the boat. Now press the space bar again. Ready? Press L four or five times. Pretty soon, you should see the lighthouse going by. 
And if you hear that warning clicker, it means you're facing right into the wind. Get ready to stop with the K key when you're aimed right between the two starting buoys. If you see the city, hit K right away, because you've gone too far already. If your boat didn't end up facing right between the buoys, try adjusting your direction by using the J, K, and L keys. Hit that space bar again to see the bird's eye view. With any luck, you'll see yourself heading right towards the starting line. Hit the space bar again to continue sailing. Once you're through them buoys, why don't you sail around on your own for a while? One problem you'll probably run into is when your boat is headed right up into the wind. You'll see the wind indicator at the bottom of the screen pointing straight at the front of your boat and your speed will drop down to nothing. That's called being stuck in irons, and it's not an easy spot to get out of. If you're really having trouble, remember that you can always press the escape key and try all over again. Once you've figured out how to move around, you'll want to be experimenting with the sail to find out just the right place to put it to keep your boat moving as fast as it can. It's pretty easy stuff once you get the hang of it. When you're all done, hit the escape key and you'll get a look at the path you took during your practice sail. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna throw this net overside and catch me a bit of dinner. <laughs>